let's have a little fun today. Let's assume that we've listened to great grandma and we are adhering to all of her advice. Today, we're gonna go a little light on the content and I'm just gonna share five memorable tips that would make great grandma so proud. But I have to warn you, we're gonna get a little snarky. So as we continue, let's remember the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time, I follow my own advice, but I'm no saint. 20% of the time, I take a little diversion. So as we think about that 80-20 rule, let's relate those to Michael Pollan's food rules, because I do. It's not food if it was created in a plant. Now, if it comes from a plant, go for it. Let's take French fries, for instance. My husband makes the best French fries. We call them two-time fries because they're so delicious, you wanna eat them two times. Potatoes, oil, salt, and some seasoning, that's it. Now, compare that to factory-produced fries. These can have up to 23 ingredients. So if I'm gonna choose to eat a fry, I'm gonna go for the homemade variety rather than the imposter. Hmm. It's not food if it arrived through the window of your car. Again, keep that 80-20 rule in mind here, but note, because there really is no way around this, fast food must be kept fresh by extraordinary means, which include salt, sugar and ingredients I can't even pronounce. Want to experience why I can't consider this real food? Go without fast food for at least 30 to 60 days and then pick yourself up a meal and down it with some soda. Report back to me within the hour. Food should not leave one feeling awful. It's not food if it's called by the same name in every country. How do they pronounce Cheetos in China? Cheetos. How do they pronounce Pringles in Germany? Pringles. These two items, these are not food. It's not food if it changes the color of your milk. Parents, I know your kids want this. I'm a wellness coach and my kids love junk food. I love junk food. Every so often I like to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and I definitely lived on the marshmallows from Lucky Charms cereal while I was in college. Only there's no denying how this stuff makes me feel not good. And I don't like the way they make my kids act. If you're slowly trying to make changes in your home, change the cereal one. Okay, I've saved the best for last. The whiter the bread, the sooner you'll be dead. Don't shoot the messenger. This very blunt saying has been passed down from Jewish and Italian grandmothers alike. Simply put, White flour is really no different for us than sugar, and research has backed those claims. Now, whole grains, like this wonderful sprouted wheat, this is indeed healthier for you. Snarkiness aside, the 80-20 rule is a fantastic standard by which to manage our food rules. So, before you take a bite, double check that it's real food for the health of it.